venture back to the vibrant era of the mid-90s, a time when the world of gaming was about to be forever changed by a marsupial with an attitude. Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, unleashed on the original PlayStation in 1997 by the creative minds at Naughty Dog, emerged as a pivotal sequel that would not only solidify Crash's place in gaming history, but also set new standards for the platforming genre. As players dove into the game, they once again donned the furry orange mantle of Crash Bandicoot, the iconic character destined to thwart the maniacal plans of the nefarious Dr. Neo Cortex. The stakes were higher, the levels more intricate, and the challenges more exhilarating than ever before. Crash Bandicoot 2 wasn't just a sequel, it was a bold leap forward in the evolution of 3D platformers. Technically, the game was a marvel for its time. Naughty Dog continued to leverage a unique game engine that seamlessly blended 3D character models with a 2D side-scrolling perspective. This not only showcased the PlayStation's graphical prowess, but also contributed to the game's distinctive visual style setting it apart from other platformers of the era. However, it wasn't just about technical achievements. The heart of Crash Bandicoot 2 lay in its meticulously crafted levels. Each stage unfolded as a carefully designed tapestry of obstacles, enemies and hidden gems, demanding precision and strategy from players. The difficulty curve was finely tuned, offering a challenging experience that rewarded both seasoned platforming veterans and newcomers alike. What truly set the game apart were its secrets. Crash Bandicoot 2 was a treasure trove of hidden pathways, bonus levels and secret exits, challenging players to venture off the beaten path in search of elusive collectibles like crystals and gems. Uncovering these secrets not only added replay value, but also rewarded players with a genuine sense of accomplishment. Perhaps one of the most coveted secrets was the infamous 100 completion ending. To achieve this, players had to meticulously collect all the gems and crystals, unlocking a special conclusion that provided an extra layer of satisfaction for those dedicated enough to explore every nook and cranny of the game. The game's charm extended beyond its gameplay mechanics. The vibrant and whimsical soundtrack, composed by Josh Mansell, became an integral part of the Crash Bandicoot experience. From the catchy tunes in the warp room to the thrilling music accompanying boss battles, the soundtrack added to the overall joyous atmosphere of the game. As you navigated through hazardous landscapes, faced menacing foes, and triumphed over challenging bosses, Crash Bandicoot 2 became a quintessential gaming experience of the PlayStation era. Its mix of inventive level design, technical prowess, and nostalgic charm solidified its place in the hearts of gamers worldwide. So, as you embark on the nostalgic journey of bouncing across floating platforms and spinning into crates with Crash Bandicoot, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Join us for more in-depth stories about the nostalgic games that shaped the gaming landscape. Relax, keep watching and enjoy this retro gaming odyssey, because after all, the golden age of gaming is a treasure trove of memories waiting to be rediscovered.
Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me.